You're editing a timeline in DaVinci Resolve and you accidentally delete or overwrite one of your clip's audio. No! Don't worry, even if it's too late to undo, it's an easy fix if you know something about in and out points and the match frame feature. Most editors know that using I on your keyboard sets an in point and using O on your keyboard sets an out point. Now you can copy and paste this section of your footage, delete it, ripple delete it, drag it from one track to another, or even create a compound clip of just this section. The auto track selector is really important for this type of operation because it lets you tell DaVinci Resolve which tracks you do or don't want to manipulate. So be sure to check out my other video on that feature linked below. When you're not using your in and out points, remove them by tapping Option X on your keyboard. If you want to set the in and out points around one or more clips, just select them and tap Shift A on your keyboard. Something most editors don't know, for a video only in and out point, use Option Shift I and Option Shift O. For audio only in and out points, use Command Option I and Command Option O. Okay, enough about in and out points. Let's see how the match frame feature can recover the audio from a clip on the timeline. But first, please subscribe to show some appreciation for the work that goes into these videos. Oh, yeah. So, if I accidentally delete the audio from a clip and I can't undo, with the play it over my clip, I select the clip and tap F on my keyboard. This is match frame in action. It finds the footage from the media pool and sets the in and out points corresponding to the clip we have in the timeline. The reason the footage looks desaturated is because it was shot in S-Log3 and the color grade doesn't show until it's in the timeline. I'll drag the waveform icon down to the timeline directly under my clip. Another way to do this with the playhead over the clip and the clip selected is to click on the match frame button located at the bottom right of the timeline viewer. Once again, I can just drag that audio right down to my track. Should I make more videos on in and out points? Let me know in the comments below. In the meanwhile, check out my channel for more videos just like this one. Have a blessed day.